This is Lesson 6 tutorial, since I can't be in lab with you this week as we enter our new online phase. I'll do there. I wanted to give a little tutorial, give you a little background on how to run some of these commands in case it's uh, not obvious. And again, I won't be able to individually uh, work with each of you at your computer. So we'll see if this helps or not. So this is our, our file, our Lesson 6 lab tutorial, which you should be able to download uh, from Blackboard. And this is what we would normally do in class. It's our in-class assignment piece uh, of this. And this week we're we are doing a bunch of chapters, but they're all very similar. And so, uh, well, the last three are 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So it's a lot of chapters through there. It's does not as bad as it sounds. Uh, 16, 17, 18 are all just about dimensioning and the various forms of dimensioning uh, in there. So when they, uh, so here's. Here's our drawing file. I'll scroll around here a little bit. Here's chapter 14 in the polylines and how to get started there. Um, so you're going to draw this shape up here in the open uh, box area. Then we're going to modify that shape over here using P edit. We're going to do the same thing through here. So a polyline is just a fancy line. It has a lot of attributes added to it. And so it's got a, uh, it's got many attributes. I think that's why they call it a polyline. Through there, if you want to draw fancy lines, we'll use a polyline for that. And it has some special considerations. AutoCAD can use it in a, in a special way. Instead of drawing a bunch of different line segments, a polyline, they're all connected and you can change everything at once and you can edit them as you work through them. That's why, that's why we use polylines. Uh, if you ever get into design software, uh, Civil 3D and so forth, some of their automatic shapes are polylines because you can you can do more with them that way. So we're going to start out here in, in polylines. The um, first thing I want to do is this uh, this is a kind of a basic setup um, for AutoCAD. I want to change one option on here. And so if I go to options, I just type in options, hit the space bar. That pops my options box over my other screen. I'm going to drag it over here so you can see it. This, this is where we change the colors, right? So Cruz is really good at changing his background color. I like to use black. I don't think it looks cool uh, through there. At least that's what I was. That's what I learned AutoCAD with was a black background. So I you leave mine there. One thing to make it faster is you can change your your mouse buttons and what they do, right? And that's in their user preferences. And over here, it's just right click customization. This is where I usually change this. I'm going to switch that over. I like to be able to right click, and if and if you right click. So I don't know if you realize this. If you hit enter at any point when you're in AutoCAD, it repeats your last command. All right. So if I draw drew a circle and I'm finished with the circle, I hit enter. It starts drawing the circle again. It'll repeat the exact same last command. I like to switch my mouse so that every time I right click, it repeats the last command I did. It's a quick way to draw things faster uh, right through there. And I'm going to try this time sensitive one. I don't usually use that, but we'll see it. All right. So if I do a quick click, it's going to give me, it's going to act like I'm hitting the enter key again, which will repeat commands. So that's what this option would have done. It'll repeat that command uh, for me. Um, and if I hold it, it brings up the shortcut menu. Because sometimes we do want the shortcut menu. I'm not a big one on using the shortcut menu, but you guys might be. So if we use this time sensitive click, that might help. And in edit mode, I want the edit mode to repeat the glass command too. I don't I almost never bring up shortcut menu myself. So we'll try all that out. Click OK there. Click apply. OK. All right. So and now we can see we can we can practice that. Right. We can go over here to home. I can draw a line. All right. Oops. Click line. There we go. I can draw a line. And if I hit enter, it ends it. If I hit enter again, I just start a line. Enter. Right click. It's, Right click starts the line again. Right click, whoops. Right click starts the line. You have to left click to end the line. Right click ends it. It's like you're hitting enter again. So you can see I find that quicker. All right, so we'll get rid of those lines. That's that's just one little trick, uh, one setting I like to use uh, through there. So we're going to do polylines though. So we're going to, pline is the name of the command to get started on polylines. I put a note in your, in your in-class assignment about using the F1 key. So if I hit F1, this box shows up, right? And I can enter now pline and I can see, whoops, pline the command and it'll tell you uh, a lot about it. What about polylines? Here's the command to pline, right? And it'll tell you, um, all your options, right? Here's all the prompts you have. Close, half width, width, 
so forth and so on. All right, so you can read all about this. I know some of you don't have your textbooks with you because you didn't return to campus like you'd in intended since they announced that we were going online while you're off on spring break. So this is a quick way to find commands. So don't forget you have the F1 uh, key there, especially on a command, it's pretty easy. If you're not sure what you want to do, you can look a long time in, in the edit menu uh, or the F1 menu trying to find, I, you know, if you're typing in keywords, but if you know the command, it brings it right up. Uh, so in this case, we know what these commands are. That's what's in the blue down here. P line, P edit. You just type that in, that should bring you up um, all that information there in that help menu. You can also, I sent you a couple links also in that homework, uh, so don't forget you can do that or just Google it. That's honestly the quickest way I usually solve things through there. So we're going to do P line, type in P line, specify start point. You're supposed to draw this shape. They don't give us any dimensions, so we're just going to guess the rough idea of the shape. Try to get kind of close, right? Okay, so we're going to uh, drop down here. So I started drawing, and if you look down here, remember this is this status bar down here is always your key to success. This one is going to tell you what's going on. And I want to, it tells me here I need a width. Well, if it tells me I need a width, let's check out what width does. So I'm clicking on width. What's my starting width? 0.1. If I like that, yep, I'm supposed to use 0.1. I just hit the space bar. I accept that. What's my ending width? And you're going to see when we get down here to that one, you can change the starting and the end width. Okay, 0.1, I still like it. Hit space bar again. All right, I'm drawing with 0.1. I come down here. Like I say, we're just going to eyeball this thing to try to make it look similar to that little diagram here. This one's going to be tricky because you get a drop over here. Now, if you want to, you can click on that, or if you type in C for close, it automatically jumps the line over back to your start point and you've closed it and you've closed your polyline. You know, normal line can't do that. Polylines can. That's in their bonus of the polyline. Well, this thing has got a bit of an angle to it. That's ugly. I don't want, I don't want an angle here. So I'm going to just manually edit this thing. And, oh, that, that looks good. All right. Escape, escape. Look there. Well, it's not perfect. Close enough. All right. So I drew that. I've got the point one. All right. I'm done with this one. So now I'm supposed to copy this guy over here and drop him in P edit. We're going to P edit that. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to hit control C. I'm going to drop over here. Hit control V for paste. No, 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 no. Okay, that's good right there. Now I get to edit this thing to make it look like that. Hmm. Well, let's see what we got in P edit. So we pull up P edit. Which polyline am I editing? Hmm. I'm going to edit this one. Select. Okay. Now, what are my options here? Oh, there's tons of options, right? So we're going to do edit vertex because it told us we're going to. Now it's going to mark with an X which vertex you're editing, right? And it's highlighting next. And so every time I hit the space bar, it takes me to the next vertex. And nope, that's the last one because this was the first one. So now I can go back previous, previous, previous. Or I can hit P, space bar, P, space bar, P, space bar. All right. And it drives me around like that. Okay. Well, that's that. So let's go next and space bar. And I'm going to edit some of these. I'm going to do uh, move and so forth. So let's look at that. Let's go up here. We were supposed to move this one, I guess. So let's try that. Let's try move. Okay. Now, where do I want to move it? Why don't we move it down here? Kind of line it up right. It's trying to snap to that arrow. I'll move it like barrel right there. How's that? Okay, not great. Let's move it again. Let's move it down just a skosh here to straighten that up. Ah, that's pretty good. All right. So got that in. And now, um, so that's next. So now I've got one here and that matches that guy. And if I go up next, and maybe now I want to straighten. Let's try straighten. And I want to straighten up to the next one. And go. Nope. Oh, come on. Straighten. Next. Well, all right. It's not going to do that. All right. So there we are. Next. Um, this one I can also move. All right, and I can I can move him down in here, right? So 
you can see where I'm going with this and when I'm done I can exit let's see what this looks like I am going to um, escape I'm out okay bad ah, man not great <laughs> it's not great um, we could do we could do P edit again so yeah maybe I want to move some more of these here I'm going to edit vertexes and I'm going to start over there next 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 i'm up here i feel like i need to move this thing over here a little bit that looks a little too far over right oh that's awful i'm gonna move this one i'm gonna move this guy over here yeah eh, we're getting there Let's zoom in a little bit don't be afraid to zoom in oh that's even worse that's just not going how's that oh boy Let's go previous. I'm going to move him over a little bit to match up that guy. Let's go back to right, right there. Oh my gosh. These are really hard to edit. No, oh, I like that. That's good. Can go previous. This one needs moved. Just line Powering it up. off. Yeah, there goes my speaker. Okay. Um, and then we're going to exit. And then I'm going to escape out. Well, oh, <laughs> that's bad looking. All right, you do a better job than this. All right, but you get the idea. That's P edit. We're going to drive around the P edit. So now we can also draw this line. We're going to draw over here what this one looks like. We're going to do two segments. We're going to do P, uh, P line with two segments, and then we're going to P edit it to make it look like that uh, when we're done. All right. So let's do P line. I'm going to draw a segment here, and it's going to, you know, I have an option down here doing width. So let's do width. What's my starting width? All right, let's look here. What's it supposed to be? It's supposed to start with zero. So type in zero. Oh, all right. I hit the wrong key. We're going to start over P line. We're going to start. Whoa, look at that thing. That is one fat width there um, through that. Let's change the width. Hit W. Starting width is not 90. That was where, <laughs> that's why it's so big. And starting is zero. I think I, I fat fingered that and I got 90 on it. All right. Um, and what's my ending width? And so starting width is where you start the line. Ending width is at the far end of that. What's the far end of my line? Well, it's still, look at this over here. looks like it's still zero. So I'm going to say space bar except zero. And now here's my point. And now I'm going to draw this next one on. But first I need to tell it its width. What's my starting width on this one? It has a width of one. Enter that. And what's my ending width? See, it's asking down here. What's my ending width? My ending width is 0.2. Boom. All right, there it is. Oh, look at that. And I'm just going to eyeball this thing to make it look like it's about right there. So, escape. All right, what do you think? Looks all right? Man, eh, close enough. That looks pretty good, right? Now we're going to p-edit this. And so, p-edit, which polyline? Which one are we editing? We're editing this one, right? And what are we going to do? We are going to... Um, we are going to edit the width, right? And so specify a new width. This will change it for all the segments. And we're going to do that. And so oh, I forgot to do that up here. We were supposed to do that on this one up here. I forgot to read that part. This one, we're going to change the width. I want to, this is a good point to show you. So this one, we're supposed to change the overall width for all segments. So this is like a global command to point to. Oh, look at that. We just made that much bigger. Through there, isn't that great? Um, down here now, we want to do it by segment. And so we're going to do P edit, select polyline. And we are going to edit vertex. And now we are going to edit the width. And what's the, specify the starting width uh, for this one. And we want this, this has to be pretty big down here. I don't know. What do you want to make that? 0.5 or something? How's that? Yeah. Yeah, it looks not too far off, right? By scale. And zero looks good. Um, specify ending width. We'll still want that to be zero. Great. And now we want to move to the next vertex. That moved me up to here. Um, I think we're keeping that width, right? Um, but we now we want to change do, 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 W for width. So we're stay keeping this at one. But this point down here looks like it's zero, right? So let's change our ending segment width to be zero. Oh, whoops. Back up. 